Welcome to the Tzvat Pnina Tagalil photo tour for December 2012. We started our tour in the Canaan neighborhood of Tzvat on Rehov Yosef Tal, Yosef Tal Street, near the Pisga Center, where we found nicely manicured gardens along the street, and it was well maintained. We were happy to see a solar powered building there, even perhaps a solar powered Hanukkiah. As usual, we discovered our collection of garbage bins and recycling centers, and uh, local residents of the neighborhood who had various things to complain about, including uh, poorly maintained sidewalks, which are dangerous. We continued on to the Mordechai Pizam Garden, where there are lots of uh, exercise machines for adults and play uh, structures for children, although we found the ground to be falling apart. And uh, there were areas in the park which were used by residents as fire pits. Not too nice. We also found a very large tree that was cut down and the remnants of which the stump was just sticking out of the ground and left there. Not too nice looking. Uh, we wondered what happened to the tree. We also found piles of garbage around the edge of the park. As we went up towards uh, the uh, Share Ha'ir Mall, uh, we came to the road that goes down to Rosh Pina, road 8900, and found absolutely no crosswalks and took our lives into our hands trying to cross the street, almost being run over by cars. There is not even a sidewalk at the side of the street, and this is an area that's frequented by many people, including the absorption center and people crossing between the parts of the neighborhood and it's literally a life-threatening situation. At that same corner, we were happy to see a nicely maintained garden with some olive trees. Right across from the street, there were piles of garbage and in ugly areas with just garbage everywhere. This is right behind the police station, an area that's just totally run down. Here's another garbage can that we like to take pictures of. We found stairways uh, pedestrian stairways with no railings, making it hard for elderly people or young people or almost anyone to go up and down. On the contrary, we found this part of the stairway did have a railing, so we're not sure what the guidelines are for where they put those railings. We continued to Rehov uh, Zalman Shazar, Zalman Shazar Street, where we found uh, a nice park and some nicely maintained houses and gardens. And we came to an area where we found a very dangerous dog and mean dog barking at us, uh, guarding a pile of wood. And this happens to look like the exact wood that was cut down from the tree in the park. We have no idea how it got from the park to here, or if it's uh, uh, legally done or not legally done. We're making no accusations, just observations. I also found this uh, pile of metal recently dug up from the earth and uh, this was all right next to uh, this uh, lovely nachal, uh, where there's a, a marked trail going down, at the top of which I found a digger just digging metal out of the ground. When I asked him what he was doing, he said, digging metal out of the ground. That must explain that pile of metal that I saw earlier. And this is probably with no permit whatsoever. Uh, as I said, this trail is marked uh, and also, of course, full of garbage even to the point where they marked some of the trail markings on the garbage itself. Uh, we found this to be quite distressing that this beautiful nature area was basically full of garbage every direction you looked. And we ended our tour at this nice overlook uh, of the Chabad Synagogue. We hope that this tour was informative and will encourage you to take a part in making our city a nicer place, we invite you to join with us, Tzvat Pinata Galil, to do this. Thank you very much.